it's that time of year again, you know, after the winter snows disappear and before the spring flowers bloom, it becomes bottle season. You know, it's every bit as annoying to us in the West Virginia Division of Highways as it is to you, perhaps even more. As much as we all hate them, potholes are inevitable, like death in taxes. In fact, our taxes go to pay for these potholes and keep our roads in good condition. But how do potholes occur? Why don't we just build roads so potholes don't happen? If we could do that, we would, but pavement is susceptible to the weather like everything else. How do potholes happen? <laughs> Throughout the year, precipitation falls and seeps through the pavement. But in the winter, that moisture forms into ice in freezing temperatures. And as we all recall from chemistry class, when the water freezes into ice, it expands. The ice forces the pavement to rise in that spot, and after the ice melts and dissipates into the earth, it leaves behind an air pocket. Then when a car drives over that air pocket, it causes the pavement to sink into the hole beneath it. As more cars drive over it, it continues to break up in what is called crocodile cracking. Finally, the pavement becomes pulverized and is carried out of the road leaving the dreaded pothole. Sometimes it seems they pop up like dandelions and questions arise. Such as, why doesn't the Division of Highways fill the pothole immediately? If the pothole is on a high traffic area, or the pothole is in a specially deep one, the Division of Highways will fill the pothole for sake of safety and smooth driving for everyone. However, since it is freezing precipitation that causes potholes, West Virginia, like all other state transportation departments, generally waits until spring when we know temperatures are typically warmer and precipitation that forms under the new fill won't immediately create new problems. So come springtime, you'll see road crews out and about filling potholes and making your drive smoother. At the same time, crews will assess the state of the roadway and pass that information along to division engineers. In turn, they will pair that information with the how recent was the last full paving or repaving along with how primary the road is to large quantities of traffic, and decide to either fix the potholes or to mill the existing pavement and repave the road completely. Come summer, you'll see the repaving work being done all over the state. Pothole season ends in time for summer sunshine and vacations, and the cycle continues. Perhaps one day, new technology will replace our current paving system and potholes will be a thing of the past. But until then, the West Virginia Division of Highways will continue keeping up with the potholes and doing all we can to create the best driving experience that you deserve in all seasons.